Hello guys, welcome back into this tutorial. Uh, I'm so so excited to take you through this video and this is about database programming and I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this video and today I'm finally starting this video with you guys and if you have your friend from there and who is like in love with database programming or in things concerning programming uh, make sure to share this link with him or with her so the first thing that we have to do uh, based on this video we shall need to download this ZAMP and the link is in the video description where you can get it and so okay so we have this and what we are going to deal with in this video will be about shell and uh, so this is it so this means we shall be using commands and to create database so guys uh, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please make sure to do so so that you don't miss this exciting a uh, video that you can use to get a lot and a lot in your life so the first thing that you have to make sure is to turn on your apache after downloading this you need to turn on the apache we don't need data for this process and so we have mysql you have also to turn only these two things from here and then we shall proceed from right from here when we are dealing with database programming uh, so this is a command that you need to follow all the procedures if we want to start this we need to we have a specific uh, command for it to work so the first command that we have to provide here is what is called mysql and we have this is h h stands for localhost and this is localhost then we have u and this u stands for what's called root and that is uh, the user and then we if we go on we have what is known as p and that is a password so basically the first step that you have to follow is this and you can't go anywhere you can't do anything unless you have followed this step so after all this then we need to press our enter button never 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 try to give this password yes just press the enter button again and it will take you right from there so when you come from here we have what is called uh, welcome to MariaDB monitor commands ends with termination or that slash g and so this slash g stands for a uh, short format on what is supposed to be here for example if we have the word help this help has a termination or in short format is to put that slash h which stands for help when you want to clear something you would write the word slash c which means if i give that slash c slash h that means uh, to have uh, that help and this slash c stands to clear the current input so this is the same way of having the word help and you terminate from there it will do the same thing and so if you come right from here we have MariaDB and this is none this shows we don't have anything at all or we have not yet chosen the database right from there now you may ask yourself which command can I use to see databases that i'm having so the command that you have to use is what we call as show databases so from here you don't have to say show database if you say that it will not work at all so if you try that like that it will not work at all so you have to write the word show uh, databases if you have done that you need to terminate uh, our termination from here and if you don't terminate this also from here and you just press that it will give you an arrow and this means you are still in the same place or you it is something is not yet complete so here to make a full stop is to have that being terminated when you have done that then you need to press the enter key and it will take you to that if you just install that ZAMP I have told you you will have what is known as uh, information schema mysql performance schema and php my admin and this means also have what is known as test so the test that is an example of database given to us and we are free to use in case we want and if we don't want also there is no problem with that so uh, let me take you straight to how to create a database so the only thing that you have to do is to say uh, create 
database so when you say create database you need to give that database name for example i want to create something like database and i give it a school so after doing that you just need to terminate and then press the enter button and you'll find this query okay so after getting this query okay it means your database is successfully created okay so <clears throat> This means that if I go back and I try uh, databases, you'll find that I have my database from here, uh, which is known as school. And so from there, how do we use this database? Uh, to use this database, we shall just say uh, use. We shall say use school and then you need to terminate it. So once that's done, it will change. So this means what we had here as MariaDB being none will then change to your school that you have chosen. Make sure to watch the next part on how to create uh, tables. I hope to see you soon.